Hello, in this video we're going to install some plugins on our server. First, we need to make sure we're running a version of Craft Bucket as Bucket plugins are not compatible with vanilla servers. In Multicraft, select the Jar File dropdown and select the latest version of Craft Bucket. I'm going to select Craft Bucket 1.7.2 as it's the newest version as of recording. Scroll down to the bottom of the page, click Save, and then restart the server. Now we're running Craft Bucket. You can check in the console to confirm with the version command. The easiest way to install plugins is to use Bucket. Bucket lets you search the Bucket dev website for plugins and install them in a single click. However, please note that not all plugins choose to use Bucket dev. Some will have to be installed manually, which we'll look at later. On occasion, you might want to manually install plugins, say if a Bucket download fails or if you want to use a development build. Please also note that some plugins will require configuration to work or have other prerequisites. This may not be obvious from the short description given by Bucket. Always check the plugin page for more detailed installation guides. For example, the popular Factions plugin requires mCore to function. You must install mCore alongside Factions for Factions to work. Plugins that need their own port, such as Vodafone or Dynmap, will need to have the port they use changed in their config files to avoid potential conflicts with other servers. Plugins that save a lot of data, like CoreProtect or LogBlock, may require a database connection to be configured. Now, let's install a plugin. Click Files, then Bucket Plugins. Search for the plugin you want, so for example, CoreProtect. Then click Install. Finally, restart the server to complete the installation. This time, let's install a plugin manually. I'm going to use Essentials Group Manager as it's not available from Bucket Dev or Bucket. Start by connecting to your server via FTP using FileZilla. If you're unfamiliar with FTP, check out our guide on FTP in the knowledge base. In FileZilla, navigate to where your plugin jar is on your computer on the left panel. Then drag and drop it into the plugins directory on the right panel. Once the upload is complete, restart the server in Multicraft. And now we see that Group Manager has been installed. For more guides on running your server, check out the extensive knowledge base on our website. Thanks for watching.